this August on Disney+. Plus. This month, our universe expands with Marvel Studios' I Am Groot. So get ready as Baby Groot takes center stage in its very own collection of five original shorts featuring several new and unusual characters. <laughs> and then go on vacation with Lego Star Wars Summer Vacation, in which Finn, looking for a much needed break from stormtroopers and TIE fighters, arranges a surprise vacation for his friends aboard the ultra luxurious galactic star cruise. Join us this month for these out of the world adventures. All these and more streaming this month only on Disney Plus. Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kids Short Stories. Right after today's episode, I need to make sure that you look down in the show notes and click on the episode for kids animal stories. We are doing some really cool activities and so hop on over to our website kidsshortstories.com. You can find the link in the show notes below and there's an activity that we made just for you for today's kids animal stories adventure. But first, are you ready for today's adventure about jetpack monkeys? Wait, what? <laughs> Me too. Let's go. It was a beautiful day, and Jude and Darla were very excited for today. Do you know what made today very exciting and special for them? Yes, their class from school was going on a field trip to the zoo! Wow, I love learning about animals and creatures, and sometimes seeing them up close and personal is the best way to learn. What's your favorite animal? Well, did you know I love animals so much that we also have another podcast called Kids Animal Stories? Yes, you have got to check that out. It's super fun. Well, Jude and Darla were still at home. They were getting all their stuff ready for their field trip, which meant they need to pack a lunch, a bottle of water, and maybe even a camera, too. They really like taking pictures. All right, it looks like I have everything already. Got my sandwich. My banana, uh, apple, water, yep, everything's here, said Jude. How about you, Darla? Darla looked through her bag and found everything except, oh, I forgot my water bottle. She raced back inside because they were just loading up in the car to drive to school. They had to get to school early this morning because on field trip day, uh, you just, that's what you have to do. <laughs> and so Darla raced back inside, grabbed her water bottle, got in the car, they buckled up, and off they drove. Jude and Darla didn't get to ride on the school bus very often, but today they would ride on the school bus all the way to the zoo. Have you ever been on a school bus before? Oh, super fun. Those things are ginormous, and so many kids can fit inside. It can get pretty noisy, but lots of silliness as well. <laughs> Well, as they got to school and loaded up in the school bus, they put their bags underneath their seats, and off they drove. As the school bus pulled away, all the kids' parents were waving goodbye. Bye, waved Jude and Darla from the school bus. Darla, what animal are you most excited about seeing today? Asked Jude. Hmm, uh, maybe the hippopotamuses or the penguins. I love both of those. What about you, Jude? Uh, I'm thinking about the ginormous giraffe and maybe even a snake. Ooh, Darla shivered at the sound of a snake. If you were to go to the zoo, what animal would you be most excited about seeing? Maybe a monkey or an elephant? Or a rhinoceros? There's so many to choose from, but I personally, I like all the critters in the zoo. As the school bus parked in the school bus zone, they all gathered outside of the school bus to listen to the teacher's instructions. They were supposed to stay all together, and that wouldn't be hard. They were all wearing bright yellow shirts. This was a very sunny day. The temperature was absolutely perfect. It was just very bright, and so you almost had to squint your eyes, especially as they got out of the school bus. They were smacked right in the face with that sunlight, and whoo, was it bright. 
All right, class, we're going to stay together and have a lot of fun at the zoo. We have our tour guide who's going to show us all the fun parts of the zoo. Everybody say, hey, Mr. Deshaun. Their zoo tour guide had a really cool hat. It, he looked like a real jungle explorer. You know those really big hats that have a big rim all the way around? That is what Mr. Deshaun was wearing. Hello, everyone. We are going to have an amazing day today. Just stay close and look out for those sneaky monkeys, said Mr. Deshaun. They can sometimes steal things out of your pockets without you even knowing. The whole class started to laugh and started on their adventure through the zoo. Jude and Darla had like the best day ever exploring all the different exhibits and learning all about the animals from all around the world. They learned about penguins and polar bears and and even about snakes and frogs. This was a perfect, perfect day. But as they came up to one of the exhibits, they saw that there was a serious problem going on. Jude, do you see that? said Darla. How do they have a jetpack? That looks just like the ones that us spies use. One of the zookeepers had a jetpack on, and he was using it to fly over the exhibits and and to drop food down into the enclosures. So like in the penguins exhibit, they would drop some delicious fish, and the penguins would jump into the water and gobble them all up. They watched him as he landed right next to the monkey's enclosure and and set the jetpack down. It looked like he was getting uh, some more food or something. He was running over to a a building and walking inside. Darla, look, those monkeys are trying to grab that jetpack. We got to stop them. Jude ran over as fast as he could, but it was too late. One of the monkeys had grabbed the jetpack and had somehow learned how to put it on and launch it into the sky. Zoom. The monkey flew right over their class. All the kids started screaming and laughing and pointing at the flying monkey. Nobody had ever seen a monkey wearing a jetpack before. (laughs) Have you ever seen that happen? I definitely have not. All the zookeepers and even Mr. Deshaun started racing around. They looked pretty silly as they were trying to chase this monkey that was too high up in the sky for them to grab. And they kept running into each other. Ow! Jude then remembered that he had packed a banana in his lunch bag. He grabbed his bag and fished around, and there it was. A delicious, bright, yellow banana. There's no way that monkey can turn this down, said Jude. He held and waved the banana high up in the air above his head, and it didn't take even three seconds before that monkey turned and saw that bright, yellow banana banana it's like it was a giant flag waving come and eat me mr monkey (laughs) and that monkey took the bait as he zoomed back around on his jetpack this flying monkey landed right next to jude who grabbed the banana right out of his hand it gave jude enough time to switch off the jetpack just in time the monkey was now very sad that he couldn't fly away Oh, how did you do that? Said one of the zookeepers as he was racing over, completely out of breath from chasing the monkey flying in the air. Well, uh, I I know that monkeys like bananas, and he definitely wanted this bright yellow one, said Jude. Mr. Deshaun and all the zookeepers raced over to Jude and Darla, who celebrated them for saving the monkey from getting hurt and stopping him from terrorizing the city. I think that would be pretty crazy if we saw a flying monkey all over us, right? (laughs) Well, great job, Jude and Darla. You saved the day. This may be the end of the story, but it was just the beginning of their amazing zoo adventure. The end. Guess what? I have a very special birthday to celebrate. Do you know why? Because this person and me share the very same birthday. <laughs> Today's my birthday too, but it is also, drum roll please, brrr, happy birthday.
happy birthday, Shepard, who's turning five years old and loves kid short stories. Shepard makes the funniest jokes, loves to swim in his favorite monster truck is Max D. Whoa, that is so awesome, Shepard. That's really exciting that we share the same birthday. Well, I hope you have the best birthday ever. I'm going to go eat some cake. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is, it's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Sienna from New Jersey, Culver from Puerto Rico, Marco and Anika from France, Sana from Ontario, Everly and Finley from Ontario, Oliver and Alora from Pennsylvania, I'm so glad that you're all on the Kid Short Stories family, and on our spy team, we could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Will you have a super duper day? <laughs> and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.